About 13 billion years ago, there was literally nothing, except for a small thing in the space. Let's say it's a letter box just like an analogy. That box contains the entire universe. The entire universe is compressed into that box. And in one moment, that box exploded. An explosion will not be repeated. Yes, it's the Big Bang. And just like the nuclear bomb that leaves a huge cloud in the air, that happened exactly after the Big Bang. The explosion produced a massive cosmic cloud known as the nebula cloud. And it contained all the materials that were in that box from the beginning. And those materials called the four fundamental forces. Then the universe began to expand in what is known as cosmic expansion. And until this moment, the universe continues to expand at constant acceleration accuracy. And this expansion continues as a result of this explosion. The temperature at the moment of the explosion was over than 5 billion Celsius. Later on, the temperature of the universe began decreasing gradually and the atoms began to form. The atoms, which are the basis for the formation of the stars and everything. And because of the massive force of gravity at that time, the nebula clouds gathered and condensed. And this how stars, planets, black holes and the other celestial bodies were born. After millions of years, the planets, the stars and the other celestial bodies gathered to form galaxies, among them our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, contains many solar systems, including our solar system. Although of all these discoveries, we haven't found any planet with all the rectifiers of life, like our planet, the Earth, and that's why we must preserve and protect it. What else do we have?